Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Scott? Oh, beast. Oh, beast. Hey, big up JB, I'm Paducah. Yeah, yeah, you're the man. Hey, big up all my circle dogs. Circle dogs. True dogs, innit? It's the thing where, man, run up them out, I'll wing there, fly there, zing there. Give me a minute or two, your ends, I'm in there. Pure bad man, a gun man, I'm gonna bring there. Like lightning, light everyone that's in there. Then wipe the place down, like no one's been there. It's a ting where, I've got a ting there. But it's a cop with the slightest thing, yeah. So if it's a war, I'm definitely in there. From day one, on the front line, I've been there. My man talks like he's bad, but you know what? I've never seen him there, you see him, yeah. When they hit that boy with the wickedest thing, yeah. Long thing. That's all sorted, man. Heard I was on way and quickly aborted. I blame it on the cult, man. Snorted thought he could roar me and get supported. Madness must be distorted, cause I used to sit bars and leave a boy haunted. Twisted, everyday taunted. I'm a big man, you're just a small one. A new style, new limit, new conquest. New argument that I must protest. Man, wanna fuck around, man, wanna mess. That's okay, bless another MC that I can digest. No stress. You got bars, but they don't impress. On board, you get no interest. Never in your life could you try tests. You mess. I've got a thing that will murder the best So one less, you got an army I don't see no progress Cause I'm a juggernaut and I swim with the best Anytime you hear me it's on a big press Anytime you see me it's a little tick Or a guy on a horse on my It's Kingdom of Boxing I'm going to try to give you a quick prediction video As my audio is not too tough i got a new thing but it's still not nice You get me So I'm going to grab a new thing And Try and get my audio nice for you man even though you don't appreciate it you look at pussy class but yeah like i'm saying my prediction video first let's give you a few stats we know tyson fury he stands at six foot nine john to wilder stands at six foot seven tyson fury is 26 and oh with 19 knockouts john to wilder's 40 and 0 with 39 knockouts both undefeated both the tallest heavyweights in the division both the biggest heavyweights almost the biggest not the both Tyson Fury is the heaviest Deontay Wilder is not the heaviest in the division but he could be if he, if he knew how to gain some weight but I'm going to give you a little prediction video here I, do, I did want to go into this and give you a nice sick prediction video try and give it all but you know sometimes when you try and give it all it just don't work out so my prediction video I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give you my prediction from my heart and I'm going with Tyson Fury in this one bang bang the UK all day every day simple as that and it's not just as simple as that I actually believe Tyson Fury is going to beat Deontay Wilder I'm going with a 12 round unanimous decision for Tyson Fury. If he doesn't get the decision, then I'll make a video and cry about it later. But other than that, fuck that. I know this is a cherry pick for Deontay Wilder, but I still think Tyson Fury will pull it off. And if he pulled it off and I didn't go with Tyson Fury, I would end up shooting myself from my head. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to go with Tyson Fury. If he loses, he loses. We'll go down together, you get me? But I'm going with Tyson Fury. My whole heart, I'm putting everything on there. Don't worry, I'm going to be putting money on there. He's the underdog. He's going to win me some nice money this time. If you man are putting money on there, trust me, win or lose, it's a good bet. It's better than Conor McGregor versus Mayweather. It's better than Conor McGregor versus Khabib. It's better than any Mayweather fights, trust me. Tyson Fury is an underdog and this should be an easy fight if you know the truth about Deontay Wilder how he fights how he's been protected all his career the sort of opponents he's fought and you know the truth about Tyson Fury's elite level boxing skills are not fake his elite level talking might convince you that yo this guy talks so much this guy must be fake but now this guy talks so much but he backs it up like, like, like mad so we know that anyway, it's not a joke, Tyson Fury is not a joke, you, if anybody is going to take away Deontay Wilder's right hand, it's Tyson Fury, he's got the right style, beautiful style, perfect style, defensive style, certain, he's got a certain look in the ring, a certain presence in the ring that lets you know that now you can't just come in there and try, 
bad man up or play the big man thing in the ring and stand tall and try and approach man like you know like man's gonna back down it's not that time because Tyson Fury's presence has to be recognized and has to be respected his feints have to be has to be respected and when things like that have to be respected that's it he's automatically got his distance and both of these fighters want to fight at a certain distance but that distance suits Tyson Fury better why because he's taller he's longer and his footwork I don't, his footwork's better even though Deontay Wilder is quick he's quicker he's got a beautiful right hand I'm not gonna lie he's got a beautiful right hand and he's got an okay jab and that's all that's all you need to be anybody anybody in the streets or in the ring but like i'm saying tyson fury's defense tyson fury is all wrong for deontay wilder if anything anybody was all wrong for deontay wilder it is tyson fury if anybody was tailor made for tyson fury it's somebody like deontay wilder a klitschko uh anthony joshua they're tailor made for tyson fury it's just like like this fight in my opinion if you want to compare it to a middleweight fight Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder is something like Billy Joe Saunders versus David Lemieux even though David Lemieux has got short arms it doesn't matter David Lemieux let his hands go more he's, he's quick coming in with feet he has certain qualities that make up for him not having his long arms just like Deontay Wilder has got long arms but he has certain qualities that or certain things that make him not as good not as effective you know what I'm saying he's good and bad in everybody same with Tyson Fury he can get caught with that right hand but more time somebody that needs to beat Tyson Fury is somebody that's short Tyson Fury's weak, weak spot in my opinion with them short fighters, they like to throw the overhand right, you know, like the Steve Cunningham, the, other, the first guy that dropped him, I think he's been dropped three times or twice with that overhand right. It's short fighters that basically trouble Tyson Fury more because he likes to stick his hand out there, he can't keep an eye on you when you're down there, and you can bring that overhand right from where he can't see it from behind you. You get me? But other than that, Deontay Wilder has not fought really anybody special. He fought Ortiz, who was very old. Whether he liked to admit it or not, he was old. Tyson Fury has not fought anybody special lately, but we know his skills. He's beat Fitchko, he's, brought, he's beat Derek Chisora twice, he's beat Steve Cunningham, who was, um, who was very. Like, Steve Cunningham, like, that, the fight can go like that. Tyson Fury can keep it long and out of box Deontay Wilder and make him look silly from the outside for a very long time and make him miss for a very long time but if Deontay Wilder starts getting success and starts drops Tyson Fury you know Tyson Fury knows he's, he might lose the fight just because he's been dropped once or twice he's going to come forward just like he did in the Steve Cunningham fight and Deontay Wilder is very similar to Steve Cunningham Yes, Deontay Wilder is taller, he's a, a legit heavyweight, even though his body mass, he, he, he's basically the same size as Steve Cunningham, if you want to like calculate their body size, etc. Because Deontay Wilder is very skinny. So, Tyson Fury, if he wants, he can put his high guard up and walk Deontay Wilder down, all them punches, he, his right hand, throw it into his, catch him on his arms and not only that, when you walk forward, you're going to be cutting the distance so Deontay Wilder is not going to be keeping you at the end of his range that's where your power is at the end of your punch you know when you snap your punch out, right at the end where you end the, your punch land, um, ends that's where the most snap is on your punch, that's where Deontay Wilder likes to get you at the end of the punch if you walk forward, you're going to catch the punches halfway to its just destination, halfway before it gets its full snap, it, even closer, and then before you can push your hand, your hand's just caught behind you, he can walk you down and let his hands go, just like he did against Steve Cunningham. Um, this video wasn't meant to be long, so I'm trying to keep it quick, but I'm mumbling on. 
Let me mumble man You man ain't paying to watch this bullshit This is my opinions So Tyson Fury If uh, if it don't work out on outside boxing him Tyson Fury can walk Deontay Wilder down As Deontay Wilder is a light guy He's long He's like a daddy long legs Like his body mass is zero but he's got long limbs you can walk him down push him up against the ropes and snap him up with the left hooks the inside the body all that so the best thing going to Wilder can do is try and box that Klitschko and not let his hands go and get played with And that's it for me, Kingdom of Boxing, man. I'm going to leave it right here, man. That's about it for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I sound silly. Because I'm going with Deont- I'm going with Tyson Fury. My 12th round unanimous decision. Hopefully, the judges are fair. And the fights, the fight, either way, whether it's Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury, there's a clear winner. So we've got it. Nice. We don't need a rematch. Then we can move on to the AJ for the winner. So I'm going with Tyson Fury, 12th round, unanimous decision. I believe John Wilder is going to be missing a lot. I believe Tyson Fury is going to be outboxing him, schooling him, talking to him in there, playing with him, doing things to him that he only thought he thought never could happen. He only thought Muhammad Ali could do them to other people. He only thought that could happen on TV. But it's going to happen to him in real life, you know, and then... So that's it for me, Kingdom of Boxing. I'm going with Tyson Fury. If I didn't go with Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury won the fight, I'd have to shoot myself, like I said. I have to go with the UK Don. I'm putting it all on him. And I've got a nice little bit of change there. I'm putting it on him. If anybody wants a bet, man, listen, I'm look, I'm willing to put my, I'm willing to put that down. You get me? So let me know, Kingdom of Boxing family. I'm gone. Peace.